are you stressing out to understand polymers or to get it to stick in your mind and you know you have one or two more days to the exam and you're stressing out about this say no more let's take a look at this let's conceptualize this let's get it done i'll do it in two videos the first video will be on concepts the second video will be on examples and that will take us to the whole of polymers let's go The first thing you should know about polymers is the definition. So the definition of a polymer is that it's a macromolecule produced by linking 50 or more monomers. Macromolecule 50 monomers. 50 or more monomers make a macromolecule, call that a polymer. The next thing you need to know is the types of polymers we have and we have two types of polymers. The first type is addition. So in addition, polymerization and saturated mon monomers, 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 example alkenes link to form a saturated polymer. So, so unsaturated mean that they are double bonds and saturated mean that the bonds have been broken, double bonds in the monomers break and bond covalently to form a chain. That's addition, polymerization. The next type is Condensation polymerization in which monomers link together by eliminating a small molecule to form a condensation polymer. So when you explain the concept, you'll understand this a little better. But monomers coming together, busting out a small molecule, and they join up and they make the long chain polymer. So these are the two types: addition and condensation polymerization. Alright, so let's examine the concept behind addition polymerization. So all polymerization have these small things called monomers and they are going to find each other, join up and we'll get about 50 of them joining up and they will make a long chain polymer, right? One, two, three, go all the way up to 50. In addition polymerization, what happens is we have a molecule like ethene which has a double bond. You notice the double bond between the carbon atoms and this is the monomer and well, we have a hydrogen and stuff but the hydrogen is relevant to what we want to accomplish here so the double bond one of the double bonds are going to break remember each one of these bonds is like a handshake so so when it breaks is like boom you could hold somebody hand and boom you can hold someone hand so when this one of these bonds one of the double bonds break bam are you seeing it there the double bond broke and separated to each individual carbon and all of a sudden they are ready for action on the outside here to join up with somebody so imagine if another eating molecule came around and he's like yo let's do what he's doing and he decides to break one of his double bonds as well and remember think of it as two hands now he can just boom join up there and he's ready to join up with somebody else who's gonna come along and say hey this looks like a new trend boom and join up and join up and join up and join up and all of a sudden you have more than 50 of them doing this and you have a polymer in fact this polymer would be called polyethene because it came out of ethene so polyethene aka plastic bro Yes, this is the very same material we make plastic bags out of that Massey is now making you pay to get. If you look at this polymer very carefully, you'll notice that it's really just this same pattern recurring again and again. Condensation polymerization is a little more ticklish. Here's how one of the monomers in condensation polymerization might look. Condensation polymerization. Now we look them thing long for spike. Anyhow, so what's happening here? Can you see this? We have C double bond O. OH, C double bond O, OH. For those who are revising, that is an acid. That is the alkanoic acid group. But we have it not once but twice. So we're going to call this guy a diacid. Meaning there are two acid groups on him. But what about the X? The X could be anything. The X could be like a C. Like that. You could replace this and put that in place of the X. What is this? This is a hydrocarbon group. This is actually ethyl. And remember we talked about this in a video. Methyl, ethyl, propyl, all of those are just hydrocarbon groups. So the X here represents a hydrocarbon group. So here the story with condensation polymerization, right? 
this di acid is looking at the ethene and saying bro i want to become a polymer too i want to do what ethene just do and break up and join up and that was fun and it started to look around in itself where are my double bonds can i do this and i realized the double bond is on the c to the oxygen and the oxygen is like bro i am not breaking up any of my bonds my two bonds stay with me i'm feeling so nice and strongly electronegative that i will i need my double bonds i'm not gonna break them up so no addition polymerization for the soul yeah but along comes another molecule and this organic molecule is a dye alcohol for the same reason as before there is a oh group here and there's another oh group there and you remember that oh is the functional group for alcohols c o o h is the functional group for acids so the dye alcohol watches the dye acid and say bro i have a plan for us to polymerize and we can do this over and over and have some fun and the dye acid say yo show me and the dye alcohol say yeah it's gonna be painful and all right let me stop this and just do what's supposed to happen all right so what what is gonna happen so what's gonna happen is that we are actually gonna remove pieces of the molecule what we are gonna remove from the dye acids are the h and the o um both sides and what we are gonna remove from the dye alcohol um is just the h so the alcohol just loses his h but the acid is gonna lose his oh he's losing more for the team boy so what is gonna happen here oh you need to go bam and we carefully remove the oh and the dye alcohol is gonna lose his h and carefully remove the H you all go so so what's gonna happen here is that the acid and the alcohol are gonna join up and the alcohol is gonna be like I've got you covered bro I've got the O for you and they are like linked up there and if we cut off H from this side and OH from that side another alcohol could come from this side another acid could come from this side and we could just continue this pattern over and over and all that's gonna be happening is that we are eliminating this H and this O but what will happen to the H and the O they are gonna join up H2O water bro so condensation polymerization actually involves removing parts of the monomer parts of the molecule and that's why we say we are eliminating a small molecule to form a condensation polymer we are eliminating water in this case most of the times it's water for CXC you'll only see water jumping out so if he's losing his OHs and he's losing his H's and they are joining up like this from this we can see that the repeating pattern is going to be this where we had the acid part here do you notice this we still have the double bond O's the oxygen is still like I'm sticking with my double bonds here and we just have oxygen from the alcohol because the H's went out so we have the alcohol here and if you remember acid alcohol this is really esterification taking place right here so just is happening on a chain process so this is a polyester and that's what we actually call this you know a polyester don't forget to put your n to represent repeating units where n is greater than 50. so once again for addition polymerization we have two repeating units monomers 18 breaking up forming a kind of alkane linkage here and alkane linkage here and this is actually poly polyethene right polyethene is plastic we use our plastic bags and take plastic bags then plastic bottles a little clingy plastic wrap thing yeah that is your plastic quick recap before we call it George on these videos addition polymerization monomers are saturated like alkenes we use alkenes they are the same so it's the same thing repeating over and over the polymers is the only product the only product is the polymer we don't get no extras here saturated so it goes from unsaturated to saturated because they break the double bonds and now they are single bonds throughout and we have the same empirical formula of the combined monomers so nothing is lost um, if you start off with 100 carbons you're going to end up with 100 carbons in the polymer compared to 
condensation, polymerization. Condensation, polymerization, where the money? Money, money, monomers may be different types, so they can be different. And they can actually be different in condensation. And in po the polymers is not the only product. We get a little H2 one thing jumping out at the dance every time we every time we make a polymer, one H2 pump it jumping out and thing, them kind of thing. So a small molecule is also form usually H2. Empirical formula is different to the monomers because they're losing stuff. If you start off with 200 hydrogens, when you check the polymer, you realize how many hydrogen missing it gone in the water. And that's it. Stay tuned. I don't know when I'll upload the next video on the ending of polymer polymers, and that will be it for organic chemistry. So at least you'll have organic chemistry on the lock if you watch out all the videos in the series on organic chemistry. And my people are gonna do a whole paper and just review it quickly. So you can probably do 2017 and 2016 June. Do that paper and look out. I may just shoot out the whole review of that paper um, in preparation for your exam, which is like what tomorrow, day after tomorrow.